favorite Disney characters this lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, first we have Stitch, okay, with Mike Wazowski. Okay, wait, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so I'm thinking we do a giant Stitch head. We definitely have to keep the mouth with Mike Wazowski's eyeball. So I'm gonna start by just getting a rough sketch of Stitch's head shape. Draw on Stitch's mouth. So something like this with a ton of little teeth. Now I need to add on the giant eyeball. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, here's what we're working with. Why does it kind of look like Pleakley? Okay, now I'm gonna add on all of Mike's limbs onto here. Now I need to add on Stitch's ears. And the final step is to color it all in, and here is the final result. As usual with these mashups, it is a complete monstrosity, but I do think there's something kind of cute about this one. I love the one eyeball with a giant Stitch head. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever two Disney characters this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, we have Goofy and Maleficent. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Okay, I'm thinking we definitely give Goofy her horns and then maybe put the robe on her and do Goofy's hands and feet. All right, let's go. All right, so first things first, I need to draw Goofy's eyes and then his mouth. I'm gonna draw the teeth and the rest of the mouth. And now I need to draw on the horn. Okay, I do think we should still add Goofy's little hat on though. Okay, now I need to add on her little collar that she has. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw on the rest of the cloak. Okay, this is what I have so far. Now I'm thinking the last thing I need to do is add Goofy's giant shoes under it. Okay, last step is to color it all in and here it is, all complete. I really like how it's still Goofy's like silly face, but mixed with these dark elements from Maleficent. And I think overall, it's one of the least monstrosities I've made from this series. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whatever characters this lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, what are we gonna get? Okay, Dumbo and... Nemo! Okay, wait. I think this is gonna be a good one. Let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we do Nemo's coloring and kind of body shape and definitely add on Dumbo's ears, trunk, and probably this hat to Nemo. All right, let's go. So I'm just gonna start out by drawing the general shape of Nemo here. Gonna add on the eyes. Okay, I have a lot of Nemo mapped out. Now we have to add on Dumbo's giant ears. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's looking pretty funny and we lost some elements, but I think I'm gonna go back in and add some of the bottom fins. I'm just gonna add on the one up here. Add on the stripes. I'm gonna add Dumbo's trunk to this. Add on the little hat. Last, I'm just gonna color it in and here's the final result. I love how this one turned out so much. I think the colors and everything is just really cute plus the big ears. Let me know what you think about it and what we should name it in the comments. Whichever two Disney characters this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, first we have, okay, vintage Mickey from Steamboat Willie that just came in the public domain and Remy from Ratatouille. Wait, this is gonna be perfect. Okay, basically what I'm thinking is we make Remy look like this vintage black and white 2D style. I'm gonna put a big spoon in his hand. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with the basic shape of the nose and the snout. And then instead of doing Remy's eyes, I'm gonna do the ones from Mickey over here. So just these big black ovals. Instead of the steamboat hat, I wanna add on a chef's hat. But instead of Remy's ears, you know we have to do the Mickey ears. But we have to throw on Steamboat Willie's pants. But I am gonna keep Remy's little toes and tail. Okay, last step is just to draw in the giant spoon and here's the final result. This little guy turned out so cute. I loved thinking about what current Disney characters would look like in this vintage black and white Steamboat Willie style. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two Disney characters this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, first we have the genie and 
Sully. Okay, wait, this is kind of perfect. They have the big shoulders, similar color. Let's go. Okay, I am super excited for this combo. Basically what I think I'm gonna do is make Sully look like the top of the genie and then maybe give him the earring and the hair and the goatee. So first and foremost, I wanna get the shoulders and then the basic shape of the genie. Okay, I cleaned that up. Now I need to add in Sully's big arms and add in his fingers here, putting in those big claws he has. Now I'm gonna start drawing in his big square jaw, add in those eyes, nose, and horns. Okay, now I wanna add in the hair, goatee, and earrings from the genie. Okay, that is looking so funny. Last thing to do is color it all in and here's the final result. I love, love, love how this one turned out. It is so cute. I could definitely see them doing some kind of collab like this in the future on Disney. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two Disney characters this lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Tinkerbell with Olaf. Okay, this one should be interesting. Okay, what I'm thinking is we make Olaf have her dress and maybe shoes on, give him wings, give him Tinkerbell's hair, and then the wand moment. Okay, so up first, I'm just gonna work on getting the basic shapes of Olaf's body down. Okay, and now I need to start mapping out where I want Tinkerbell's dress to go. Oh no. Okay, here's what we've got. Now I'm gonna add on Tinkerbell's shoes. Now I need to work on drawing in Olaf's head. I wanna add on Tinkerbell's hair to this, but it's actually so big. That is looking so funny. Now I need to add on his arms, add on the wand and the wings. Now all we have to do is color it in and here's the final result. I didn't know how I was gonna feel about this one, but honestly, it turned out so cute. Definitely a weird combo, but I think somehow they go together. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'm gonna run this filter three times. Whatever they land on, we're gonna mash all three characters together. Okay, we've got Eric, who's next? Bambi and Cusco, okay. I think what we're gonna have to do is like a centaur situation. Top of his body onto Bambi's body and then maybe dress him like Cusco with the robe and the hat and the earrings. And then possibly I'm thinking of maybe putting Prince Eric's boots on Bambi. All right, let's go. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is draw Prince Eric's kind of like jawline and the nose. Okay, I've got the face drawn out. I wanna add on Cusco's hat up here. So something like this. Okay, I've got that on and I went ahead and put the earrings on. It's looking really cool so far. Now I just need to add on kind of the details of Cusco's like robes a little bit, something like that. Now we have to make the horrible part and add on Bambi's body. <laughs> oh God. Okay, I've got that drawn out. Now I'm gonna add on the boots from Eric. I'm gonna add some color on there. Here is the final result. This turned out better than I thought it would. Obviously it looks crazy, but I don't know what to expect. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna let this filter pick three random characters and we're gonna mash them together on the iPad. Oh, we've got Duchess from the Aristocats. Who's next? Violet, who's gonna round it all out? Pocahontas, okay. I'm thinking we do Duchess's body. We have to put the super suit on her and maybe the mask. And then I wanna give her Pocahontas's hair and necklace. First and foremost, I just have to sketch on Duchess's face. Okay, I've got that drawn out. Now I need to add on Violet's mask. Okay, this is looking exactly how I want it so far. Now I just need to add on Pocahontas's hair. I also wanna add on her necklace. Okay, I went ahead and drew on the rest of her body. Now we need to add on the super suit. Lastly, I just have to add on the color, and here she is, all complete. It reminds me of something that like maybe Jack Jack would turn into while wearing the super suit. I don't know, let me know what you think we should name her in the comments. I'm gonna let this filter pick three random Disney characters, and then we're gonna mash them together on the iPad. Okay, we've got Nick from Zootopia. Who's gonna be next? Oh, Princess Jasmine. And who's gonna be the last one? Oh my gosh, okay, let's go. We have to do the fur color and maybe the head from Nick. 
And then for Jasmine, I wanna do like her hair for sure and maybe some of her jewelry. And then for the grandpa from Tarzan, we have to do the shorts. Okay, so first I just wanna get the like general shape of the fox's head before we start adding on all of the detail. Okay, I went ahead and I cleaned that up and now I just wanna add in the shape of Princess Jasmine's big hair. Okay, this is starting to look wild. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add in the earrings that she wears and the necklace right here as well. Let's sketch in where I think her top would go, somewhere like around here. Okay, why is this looking so good? I'm gonna go ahead and add in the magnifying glass over here. And of course I have to add on these big shorts from our grandpa over here. Oh no, this is gonna be wild looking. You guys, what have I made? <laughs> I'm gonna add on grandpa's knees here as well. But I wanna add on Jasmine's shoes. Okay, I did that. Lastly, I'm gonna add on the fox's tail. Do a little coloring in. And here is the final result. This turned out so much funnier than I ever imagined what it would be. Let me know what you think we should name her in the comments.